Hello everyone, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. Today is Sunday. Sunday means DAX Sunday. And every Sunday we discuss something new in DAX. In today's video, we are going to discuss about Table Constructor DAX function as well as Evaluate. Table Constructor DAX function is incomplete without Evaluate DAX function. And I'm going to show you how we can use it. So, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. As you can see on my screen, I have written down the definitions of evaluate as well as table constructor function. Evaluate DAX function is nothing but it's a statement containing a table expression required in a DAX query. So we have different DAX statements or we also call them DAX queries and in that one we use it to evaluate the table expression. Syntax is pretty simple. You have to write evaluate and then your table name and it's gonna evaluate that table expression. It's basically gonna return you the result of that particular table expression. Over here for the evaluate DAX function our parameter is table and which is a table expression. I'll show you in demo part how we can use this evaluate dex function. You should remember always for evaluate dex function, a query can contain multiple evaluate statements and it's always going to return you the result of the table expression that we are gonna define in the parameter. Let's move forward. And in this next scenario, we are gonna talk about the table constructor dex function. Table constructor dex function is going to return a table of one or more columns. So whenever we need a table or we need to create a table by defining input values, then we can use the table constructor function. In Power BI, we can create a table over here. If I'll come in the modeling tab, then you will see a new table option. So after clicking on this, you will see it's going to give you a pop up and then you can write your dex query or the expression if you want to and then you can create a table another way over here is by entering the data so in the home tab you will see this enter data option you can come over here click on this and you can start entering your data so these are the two main ways that you can create your own table in power bi apart from that you can also import the data if you have any in your excel file text files or anywhere else but what if I want to define my values myself in my DAX query and I want to create a table over there. So in that part, we are going to need our table constructor DAX function. And I'm going to show you very soon how to use that. And now again, as always, before proceeding for the demo part, I would like to show you my data model. And you can see over here, I am using reseller sales table, which is my fact table. Then I have some of the dimensional tables like employee, sales territory and date table. And I have created a new table as well, which is my major table where I have created one major over here. You can see it's a disconnected table. It has nothing to do with this. Now, let's see very first if I want to evaluate a table expression, how I can do that with the help of evaluate DAX function. For the demonstration part, what we can do, I'll go in my external tools and I'll use my DAX Studio. If you haven't installed it, please install the DAX Studio. And over here on my left hand side pane you can see all the tables are over here and i can drag it and drop it over here once you will try to run it it's gonna give you the error it says that invalid query syntax that means you cannot evaluate any table over here like that or any table expression so for that what you have to do you have to come over here and you have to write evaluate then bracket and click on this one so this is gonna help us to evaluate this table and now once you will run it's gonna give you this table so that's how it helps us to get the result from a table expression now what i want to do i want to demonstrate the functionality of table constructor as well as i told you earlier table constructor can be used to create the tables and for that we are gonna see how it works with the evaluate dex function now let's discuss about the functionality of the table constructor dex function and for that we are gonna use the evaluate dex expression for that i'm first gonna write evaluate 
and it's gonna start always with the curly bracket if we are trying to use the table constructor over here or if we are trying to get the result of a table now after writing this curly bracket now you can write your value 1 2 and 3 and then close this curly bracket now you need to simply hit the run or clear cache and the run so over here you can see that we have value 1 2 3 one column has been created with the three separate values that i have given it now instead of that what if i want to return multiple rows and multiple columns so for that also we can do that for this scenario i have uh, one code over here and where i'm just gonna simply paste it so what it's gonna do it's gonna create me three rows which you can see 1.5 then i have a date then i have currency and the name of value over here and then you can hit on the run and you will see you have now three rows and four columns value one value two value three up to four and three rows over there let's say you just want values in a single column so how how can you do that so for that you can simply use this code i'm not gonna execute the above one so i'm just gonna execute this and i'm gonna run and you can see that it's gonna give us four different values in one single column so the main idea of this that whenever you need output as a table then you have to use evaluate and the table constructor together and not only that for example i have this measure and you want to evaluate this measure you can directly run it over here and it would gonna say the invalid query syntax but in order to get the value the output it should appear like a table and then we can use evaluate again your curly brackets curly bracket closed and once you will run you will see your total values appearing over here that's how you can use them